Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about our experience the last probably six weeks with trying to make the house pay for itself with something left over. So we've been doing Airbnb, but now we've brought in some short-term stay renters. And they're just renting rooms in the basement. Sorry for the noise from the road. They're just renting rooms in the basement, but I'm feeding breakfast uh, when they're here we let them join us with uh, our meals or we take it down to them we have separate eating spaces for both of them one is out in the cabin one is going to be in the basement and um, honestly I have to say I prefer the short-term stay renters because you get to build a relationship with them it feels safer you don't have to explain and re-explain the rules and you don't have to entertain them they kind of have their own thing going on there uh, they have their own life here locally that they're really happy with so this month we have succeeded in not only paying the mortgage but then if we wanted to put another mortgage payment down we could and um, so we can you know we can reinvest that into the house into the the rental experience for everybody or now that is profit and that's within six weeks of starting uh, that that has paid us back for all of the investments with, that we've made so if you're a stay-at-home mom and you are comfortable having somebody in one of your spare rooms you know being minimalist means that we have so few possessions that half of our house is not being used and um, if you found somebody you were comfortable with for instance for me I feel much more comfortable having women about my age instead of men uh, just because I've got kids here and um, we're doing little trial runs and having dinner with people before we have them in the house, we're having a security deposit, and um, you know, so if you're a single mom or a stay-at-home mom, this might really, really be important because it means that if jobs in your area don't allow you to work the schedule you want to, if you've got kids in school but you need to be home by three o'clock, you know, those kind of things, um, I think it's really important that we, that we don't discount this as an asset rather than just a liability. And rather than just as a, well, when we sell it in 20 years, we'll make a whole bunch of money, why not let it pay for itself now? Uh, my great-grandmother, she had boarders. She, uh, they lived in a college town. She had 11 children, and so they had attic rooms that they rented out, and then they fed the students out of the same big pot that the family ate out of, so she didn't have to make extra meals. And it meant that they had extra money flow, money, every extra cash flow during the school year. And that's pretty much what we're doing. Uh, it's people who are, in, are single, who um, have had a really hard time finding a rental property here in the area that they can afford. Most of the time, lately, our, our area is growing so much that there's just no availability. Um, so it works for us, it works for them, and um, I'm excited by the prospect of the renters versus the Airbnb Uh When our renter that's out in the cabin decides to come into the house for the winter, which is kind of what she's assuming she'll want to do, then we can open the cabin back up as an Airbnb uh, for those who want to try the cabin in the winter. And um, I'm, I'm just excited about all of it. And the person who made me think of this was a an Airbnb mother. She was a single mom and her whole income was her house. And she had, I think, three rooms that she Airbnb'd. And then she had a, a, a man that was doing a short-term rental that actually wanted to live in a tent in her backyard and it was New Mexico, it didn't get too cold. And so he helped manage the property in exchange for his rent and it was pretty phenomenal. Her whole backyard was full of meat rabbits and chickens and it was amazing what she was doing and she was doing it on her own. And um, sometimes your family just needs a little extra money and yet you value being home for your children and so how do you do that? It's, it's a pretty big money suck having a mortgage so if it can pay for itself how amazing is that so hopefully that was helpful I have um, shirts down in the description below two of them are live your crazy one is for men one is for kind of unisex and then there's the get dirty shirt make sure to go check those out if you'd like to help support our channel and if you have any questions make sure to let me know we'll talk to you later